In 1903, a young man named Franz Kappus wrote a letter to Reina Maria Rilke, a man considered one of the most significant poets in the German language. Thankfully for us, Rilke wrote him back. Rilke's letters were published in the work Letters to a Young Poet. Rilke wrote to Kappus on a variety of themes, but never so beautifully as on the theme of solitude. That we are so vastly alone is to Rilke a great gift, a great sorrow, and in the end, a great necessity. In his sixth letter, Rilke writes, What is necessary after all is only this, solitude, vast inner solitude, to walk inside yourself and meet no one for hours. That is what you must be able to attain. And in his eighth letter, and to speak of solitude again, it becomes clearer and clearer that fundamentally this is nothing that one can choose or refrain from. We are solitary. We can delude ourselves about this and act as if it were not true. But how much better it is to recognize that we are alone, yes, even to begin from this realization. Rilke's solitude does not have the texture of despair. For him, it is a comfort. At the end of letter four, he writes, but your solitude will be a support and a home for you, even in the midst of very unfamiliar circumstances, and from it, you will find all your paths. Out of it comes this beautiful perspective. Love your solitude and try to sing out with the pain it causes you. And this take on love in every human relationship. For one human being to love another, that is perhaps the most difficult of all our tasks, the ultimate, the last test and proof, the work for which all other work is but preparation. I hold this to be the highest task for a bond between two people, that each protects the solitude of the other. This is the miracle that happens every time to those who really love. The more they give, the more they possess.